All right, we good to go? Awesome. Hey, welcome everyone. If uh, you're punctual and you made it right off the start, uh, right off the top of our Facebook Live, thrilled to have you along. Um, my name is Mark Saltzman and for the next 45 minutes, I'm going to be answering your questions about what to look for when shopping for a PC. Whether it's for yourself, you want to treat something, uh, treat yourself to something, especially leading up to and over, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Even if you were more naughty than nice this year, uh, you want to uh, have a little fun with that. I'm going to answer your questions. Or if you're looking to buy something for a loved one, a family member, or for your, you know, your your own your own family, something that you'll be sharing, I'm going to be uh, joining you here uh, in partnership with Intel for the next uh, few minutes. So we've got a, a really fun, jam-packed. Uh, amount of time with you. So welcome to my home office and uh, we can uh, start asking you to uh, put, post those questions. If you're on Facebook, you can write them uh, below. I'll tell you about our sweepstakes in a moment. You might also be tuning in over Instagram. Hello, that's this camera there. And uh, as well as YouTube. Uh, so you can write the questions. We're going to be monitoring them or you can head over to my Facebook page if you prefer which is uh, facebook.com slash Mark Saltzman, Mark with a C. All right, so first of all, I guess it would be remiss to not tell you who I am if you're not familiar with my work. So I'm a, a technology evangelist, if you will. I like to preach about the benefits of technology, how it can enhance and enrich your life, personally and professionally. And I do so as a freelance journalist. I write for several publications including Costco Connection Magazine. We're going to talk about Costco over the next 45 minutes as well. I also write for AARP and Zoomer in Canada. I write for Toronto Star, Post Media, I, uh, USA Today and Reviewed.com, Reader's Digest and many others, Homefront uh, and uh, Common Sense Media as well. So uh, my approach to tech is what I call breaking down geek speak into street speak. So demystifying tech. Uh, not just celebrating it. And as a result, I also write books like those dummies books. The last one was Apple Watch for Dummies. Uh, so again, trying to just make sense of uh, tech in plain English. And uh, I'm also the host of the Tech It Out podcast and uh, radio show. And in Canada, it's called Tech Talk. So yeah, and I do TV work and so on and so forth. So uh, just a bit about me. So what are we doing here? I'm going to answer your questions about buying a PC. Uh, it's uh, okay if you feel that this topic is overwhelming. I get it. You know, you go to your uh, big box store like a warehouse, like a Costco, and there are rows and rows of computers. It can be overwhelming. I get it. So I'm here to answer your questions in plain English. Um, let me tell you about the sweepstakes. This is pretty exciting. So for US residents age 18 and older, there are three laptops that you can buy for. There's going to be a link right here in the description uh, section that you can tap or click on to enter to win. And that draw is going to be taking place on December the 8th. So you've got some time. So you'll get that laptop if you win one of the three. Uh, plenty of time for the holidays. So what you do is you go to that link there. It's a gleam.io link in the uh, comments section or, or rather in the description section. And you have 10 ways to enter. So you can tell your friends about this as well. The first entry is, is uh, easy peasy. It's a green star. Just tap it and you're good to go. Then if you visit the Intel Evo platform homepage, and I'll talk about Evo this, uh, this, oh, over this next 45 minutes, you can also get uh, an entry and you can get up to 10 of them. It's really easy. It's all listed there. Uh, and there's the, again, three randomly no, uh, drawn names are, are going to be uh, pulled on the 8th of December. Uh, so good luck to you if uh, you are uh, eligible to win. And uh, let me tell you about the three laptops. It's a Lenovo Slim Pro I, uh, 9i, Lenovo Slim Pro uh, 9i, the Dell Inspiron Plus, and the HP NV 2 in 1. As the name suggests, a 2 in 1, and this is it right here, by the way, this is the HP NV. A two-in-one, of course, as the name suggests, is both, both a laptop and a tablet. It is a two-in-one and uh, you can use it as a laptop if you like or in tablet mode or a bit of both. Some people have this upside down like this 
uh, where they can prop it up and watch a movie, say on, on a kitchen island while they're cooking. Um, and uh, there's like these hybrid modes. So these kinds of laptops. And you'll look for that Intel Evo badge or sticker. So I'm sure you're gonna have questions about Intel Evo this hour as well. Uh, so yeah, and those are the three laptops you're eligible for. We've got some questions coming in. Um, let me uh, get rid of my cheat sheets here. No more housekeeping details. Uh, Janet Lynn is asking, why should I buy my laptop at Costco instead of another big box retailer? That's a very good question. I, yes, I might be biased. I do write for Costco Connection Magazine, but I'm taking that hat off and I'm going to answer it as a, a tech reviewer. Uh, there's, I think, four reasons why you'd buy something at Costco. One is a huge selection, uh, which you may find elsewhere as well, but really, they really, I think, like I, I talk with the buyers when I'm writing these articles and they really try to pick and choose the best uh, Intel powered laptops. The second reason is a, a no brainer you get a second year warranty. So unlike other retailers where you get the standard one, uh, one year manufacturer's warranty, you get two with Costco. You also get a, uh, a 90 day uh, return uh, allowance, which is very nice to have should you need it. I don't know what Costco calls that officially, but you can return it within 90 days, a policy. Uh, and then also free tech support is the last one. You get free tech support when you buy your laptop from Costco. So good question, uh, why Costco? So again, it's selection, two year warranty, which to me is the biggest one, 90 day uh, risk free return policy, and then uh, free tech support. So that's a, a really good question because there are lots of places you can buy computers from. Thomas is asking, what laptop am I using? So. Uh, I have uh, an Asus, I have two Asus laptops. Asus is the brand right behind me there. Uh, that's the S13 OLED. Many of the laptops today have an OLED screen. So that's similar to the TV technology that you may have mounted to your wall. So better contrast, uh, really rich colors and, and really thin uh, designs as well. They're also very energy efficient. They sip rather than gulp power. Uh, and But again, I know a lot of um, Content creators, especially like video editors, they like the, the colors uh, on the uh, OLED screens. So that's what I have. The other one I have is an older Flip S that I tend to bring with me on the road. It is a two-in-one um, and it does flip back all the way. I've had that for years and it still works great. Uh, that's another one. And then finally, I know the question was about laptops, but I also have an all-in-one desktop from HP that I have right here. Um, so I keep this here in my home office. It's a pretty big one. I think it's 32 inches. And uh, that's what I prefer. Yeah, you can obviously connect your laptop to a, a monitor and turn that into a desktop, if you will, and add a wireless uh, keyboard and mouse if you prefer uh, to have best of both worlds. I know in this sort of hybrid age that we're living in, that is a, a, a common thing to do as well, where you may be working from home a couple of days out of the week. So yeah, uh, keep those questions coming. These are great. And it, it, you can get technical if you want, but again, I'm gonna answer it as uh, you know, simple as I can, uh, you know, uh, following my you know, geek speak into street speak, uh, MO, which is what I try to do. Um, so yeah, I think we've got some other questions. Yes, uh, uh, Mark, we have Brenda asking, what's the best laptop for gaming? Okay, so the question is, thank you, Savag. Uh, our, the question is, what's a great laptop for gaming? So it wasn't that long ago that a uh, laptop was really, let me just fix my microphone here, was really uh, ideal for like mobility first and gaming second, you know, where there was, there was some trade-offs before. Uh, a gaming laptop was big and chunky and it was really a desktop replacement. But over the years, there's been a lot of innovations and you can now find a, a great gaming laptop, which is essentially, so now without, you know, without, you know, the Backbreaker 3000, you can bring with you uh, a thin and light yet uh, powerful gaming laptop. So what to look for? Obviously you want a powerful processor. Uh, so I would recommend a Core i7 as a minimum, but a Core i9 is even better. There's also, as you likely know, a Core i5 laptop, more for basic tasks like browsing the web, reading your email, social media, and, and, and so on. But uh, I would definitely recommend Core i7. Second is 
good graphics performance. So this, this is important. I'm a fan of the, you know, the uh, NVIDIA chipsets and the, the Iris XE as well from Intel, which is gonna get a, a super boost uh, with the fourth gen Intel uh, core uh, laptops, the Meteor Lake ones uh, in 2024, but look for good graphics. So if you are a fan of NVIDIA, the RTX, you know, you wanna you know, definitely look for uh, something that can handle and, and render uh, those games, those demanding games. Uh, the third thing is uh, screen size. You know, you may want to go bigger just because it's more immersive. Some gamers prefer a matte screen opposed to a glossy screen. That boils down to personal preference. Often if it's a matted screen, it's not touch. It's up to you if you like that. Again, what I like about Windows and Intel powered PCs is the vast uh, selection and variety in the kinds of laptops. Some have a lot of power under the hood. Um, you know, some are for you know uh, more entry level that are great for students. Some are for gamers, and, and you know again, some are touch. Some are 12 inches. Some are 18 inches. There's it's you know across the board, you're going to find something that uh, you can work with with your budget as well. Um, so a lot of cool stuff there. Uh, Sergio is asking, what are the best deals on laptops right now? So good question. There are a few that I'll highlight. I anticipated this question. And uh, so I jotted down a couple that, um, that Costco has on sale. Some of them will be dropped even more uh, leading up to Black Friday, which is Friday the 24th of November and Cyber Monday is the 27th, of course. But here are a couple of good um, deals on laptops that I printed out. And again, this is the sale price as well. So one is the HP Victus Gaming uh, SKU, which is uh, normally nine nine, uh, normally thirteen ninety nine on sale for nine ninety nine. So that's four hundred bucks off uh, that HP. There's also the LG Gram two in one sixteen inch Evo laptop. I'll, I'll explain what Evo is a little bit more in a moment, but it's also four hundred and fifty dollars off, which is a great price. So down to ten ninety nine instead of fifteen hundred bucks. That's the LG Gram two in one sixteen inch, and another aggressive deal is five hundred dollars off the Dell Inspiron twenty seven inch. That's not a laptop. I've never seen a 27 inch laptop. Uh, that is of, of course a, uh, an all-in-one desktop. Uh, an all-in-one, by the way, you're, you probably know that PCs come in, uh, desktop PCs come in two flavors. There is the tower, which is, uh, you know, sometimes gamers like that because it's more modular. You can add a different video card or more uh, system memory or RAM or, or external storage um, uh, or internal storage. That's a tower that's connected to a monitor and all-in-one is when the PC is built in behind the screen itself. So it's a more, like it's a cleaner look, a more minimalist look that uh, you, know, you may put in a highly trafficked area of the home. It could be for gamers, but often with a, an all-in-one, it's not as easy to upgrade the parts inside. And if you're okay with it, because not everybody wants to do that, then an, um, an all-in-one would be for you. So those are some of the deals that I found. I also found some deals on Intel uh, Evo uh, powered laptops, but I think it would be weird for me not to explain what Intel Evo is first. And I get this question a lot when I write articles. I wrote uh, about this for um, Costco Connection Magazine. What is Intel Evo? What is this badge in the corner of the laptop, this sticker that you see? Okay, so what that is, is a certification. So it verifies or certifies that that laptop from multiple companies, Acer, Asus, Dell, Lenovo, right, uh, Microsoft, LG, Samsung, and so on, MSI, uh, I don't know who I'm leaving out there, uh, Lenovo, that they all meet certain criteria that Intel dictates in order for it to earn that badge. So by going with an Evo, Evo uh, certified laptop, you're guaranteed a number of things. Fast performance, which is critical. Instant boot up times. You don't have to wait to turn on your laptop anymore. Long battery life. Some of these, like I know the LG Gram, some of them are like north of 25 hours, believe it or not, on a single charge, depending on what you're doing, of course. Uh, multiple connection ports along the side, USB-C, sometimes USB-A, uh, you know, there's, there's different ports, and fast Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E, and then soon Wi-Fi 7, and, and uh, great graphics performance as well. These are all hallmarks 
of an Intel Evo powered laptop. So if you are uh, partial to one brand over another, let's say you love Dell uh, and your, you know, I don't know, your best friend is more of an HP person, uh, that's fine. If you look for that sticker, that badge, then you know that it's going to be at least those sort of premium specs that you want in a laptop. And no, you don't need a degree in, in computer engineering to know what, you know, gigahertz this and megahertz that and terabyte this. It can make your head spin. So as long as you have to, all you have to do is remember that three letter word Evo, Intel Evo, and you'll be good to go, regardless of the brand or the kind of laptop uh, that you want to invest in. And regardless of what you want to use it for, you might just be you know, a mobile professional who isn't into gaming. Your needs may vary a little than someone who wants to uh, play competitively online with their friends, right? Or you're a student um, you know, on a budget. You can find some Evo laptops on sale, in fact, I found a couple of really good ones as low as $699 for all those, you know, cr that criteria I mentioned. The Lenovo Flex 7i, it's a 14 inch 2 in 1. Costco has this, it's a 12th gen Intel Core processor. So, not the, the latest chip, but definitely uh, something that's going to serve most of your needs. $699 for an Intel Evo laptop. And another one that I found is the Dell Inspiron 14 inch. And that one's not touch and it's not a 2 in 1. If you have no desire to turn your laptop into a tablet or use your fingertips or a pen with it, a digital pen, then that's fine. You just stick with the regular laptop. All right, what do we got? Uh, I've got a great question here, actually, uh, from Natasha. I'm looking on Amazon. There's so many options. I'm looking for a desktop that I can that can handle photos, editing, multitasking. Okay. Great. Yeah. So if you couldn't hear that, because I'm wearing a lav lavalier microphone here, uh, the question was that uh, this person was online and looking at so many options and she's looking for a desktop for her family and she wants it for basic tasks, shopping, school, um, I'm paraphrasing, but social media, uh, so basic tasks. So an all-in-one, again, is when the computer is built in behind the screen. Um, I, again, I don't know how well you can see the one in front of me here, but it's, there's no clutter because everything's built in. The only, again, if you're a gamer, you may want to upgrade those components inside. That's more for those who invest in a tower with a cooling system and maybe some funky lights, whatever you want to do. But for a, an all-in-one, you definitely have a lot of choice. So A, stick with a brand that you know and love. Again, something you've had a good experience with. This Intel Evo chat is brand agnostic. So, you know, there's so many partners that they have that uh, create great, you know, Windows 11 PCs. Uh, find the size that meets your needs and budget. I'm a fan of a bigger screen because I'm a multitasker. I like to pin different windows open at the same time and, uh, and, and take advantage of all that screen real estate. Um, you know, I like to get more done in less time. So if I don't have to keep minimizing windows, I can just snap them into place. Then that's for, for that's what I do. So typically, uh, all in ones range from generally speaking, 24 inches all the way up to, you know, 36 inches and find something that suits your needs and budget. And again, you know, if you buy it from Costco, you do get that second year warranty thrown in. That's, that's huge. And that's certainly a competitive advantage uh, versus, I think you said Amazon, for example. Uh, and you can buy it online. You don't have to buy it at a Costco warehouse. You can go, go to uh, Costco.com in the US or Costco.ca for sure. Danielle is asking, why does it matter to use an Intel processor? Great question. Uh, and again, for full transparency, Intel is our partner on this chat. Uh, I've been a fan for several years and I'm wearing blue to prove it. <laughs> uh, so why an Intel processor? Great question. There are, uh, so a processor is the engine, if you will, that drives your computer's performance, right? Or if you think of it as the, the human body, uh, the, the, the processor or CPU is the brains that controls it all, okay? Uh, so it's, it's often, an, unfortunately, an, uh, an often overlooked consideration when you're going down the list of specs. You know, you're looking at storage and maybe system memory. Oh, I need 12 or, or 16 gigs of RAM instead of 12. That's all important, that's all important as well, but with, without question, the processor is uh, what's gonna be controlling it all. It, it handles all the instructions that your, your computer is doing, and it also talks to all your accessories as well, and, and software. It is so cr critical. So why Intel? Well, they're obviously the biggest uh, when it comes to uh, processors for personal computers for good reason. Uh, there's a lot of variety. There's a lot of reliability. 
Uh, they've got that Intel Evo platform, which amps it up to the next level, another notch. Right, so um, definitely you want to look for an Intel chip. And they also, again, they have, a, when I said variety, it's not just in their partners that they have, whether you want to go with like Lenovo or Samsung or MSI or what have you, but it's also in the um, core family. The rule of thumb is the bigger the number, the better. So Core i5 is better than Core i3, Core i7 is better than Core i5, and Core i9 is uh, better than Core i7. Uh, and that's for those who want to you know, overclock and they're gamers and they want that performance or they're video editors. So there's a lot of variety. So uh, Intel's uh, one of the, you know, it says Intel inside, but their catchphrase lately is engineered to do it all. So whether you're a content creator or a student or uh, a professional or just a casual, you know, social media, uh, you know, user, then there, there's something for you. So Intel, I, I would highly recommend an Intel processor or a processor over others. Uh, before I read the next question, let me just, if you're just dropping in now for the first time, let me just tell you what we're doing here. Uh, for a 45 minute window, I'm answering your questions about what to look for when shopping for a PC. I know it can be intimidating. You walk to your local uh, store and there are rows and rows of laptops and desktops. It can make your head spin. You know, it, you might feel like you need like a degree in computer engineering to understand it all. So what I'm trying to do is to break down geek speak into street speak by answering your questions. And you are eligible, if you are in the US and uh, you are 18 years of age and older, you're eligible to uh, enter our sweepstakes where there are three Intel Evo powered laptops that are uh, gonna be given away on December the 8th. And all you have to do is follow the link in the description for this Facebook Live and uh, you can enter for free and uh, tell your friends. And, and then there are other ways that you can add more entries up to 10 uh, to increase your odds of winning one of the three laptops, which I will remind you are, I have it here somewhere. It's a, a Dell Inspiron Plus 16. It is a Lenovo um, Slim Pro 9i and an HP Envy X360. So three different laptops, all powered by uh, Intel Evo as a platform. So good luck. So I'm answering your questions. You can uh, uh, enter the sweepstakes if you're in the US. Uh, and you're 18 and older, so good luck. So that's what we're doing here, and, and we're having some fun along the way. Welcome to my home office, uh, my humble uh, place of uh, work, um, and uh, it's good to chat with you, and I know there's lots of questions that are coming in. So next up, we have Aiden asking, what's the difference between uh, an Intel Evo and a MacBook? Great question. MacBooks definitely are, are popular. Um, that is, so Intel Evo has uh, several partners. So Intel has partnered with several brands or OEMs as we call it in the industry. So you can choose what brand you want to, you want to invest in, right? So again, the big ones would be like Dell or HP, Lenovo, the three laptops that were um, giving away through the sweepstakes, as well as many others like LG and Samsung and MSI, uh, Microsoft Surface, um, you know, there's Lenovo. So that Intel Evo uh, works with all of those brands. Um, MacBooks are uh, non-touch. So if you're used to, you know, playing on a tablet or your smartphone and you sometimes touch your laptop screen thinking it's touch enabled and it's not, that's unfortunately, you know, something that uh, if, you know, you, you have to know that the Macs are non-touch. So you have more options with an Intel Evo uh, laptop. They're also not two-in-ones, or like whether they bend back all the way to become a tablet or, or detachable. A Mac is a Mac. It's, it's a clamshell laptop, uh, which is great for those who are, are fans of that brand, but um, there's no touch, there's no two-in-ones, and you only buy from Apple. There's no other uh, selection or, or options out there. Um, you know, instead of having your choice in, you know, there's a couple of screen sizes that you can choose from for, for a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, but a lot more selection with an Intel laptop. Someone once said to me, uh, just even last week, I mean, uh, saying, well, what about, I like with my Mac that it talks to my phone and it talks to my uh, tablet. And I said, oh, have you not heard of Intel Unison? And they're like, no, what is that? So before we go to that next question, I'm gonna ask, um, I'm gonna explain what Intel Unison is. This is uh, also a platform. It's, it's essentially um, uh, basically a software upgrade to uh, select Intel uh, powered laptops. And um, many of them are available now. In fact, uh, there's, I've, I've got a list of uh, six of them. 
But what is Intel uh, Unison? This is the ability, in a nutshell, to wirelessly talk to the other devices around you. So if you have a phone or a tablet and the phone rings, it can, you can answer it on an Intel Unison powered laptop. You can get your text messages, your SMS uh, messages on your laptop. So uh, easily exchange files between devices. So I know Mac people uh, use you know, AirDrop or what have you, but Intel Unison is just like that, but with many different uh, computers that support Intel Unison. So it's a new feature. You're gonna hear a lot more about Intel Unison. So it's great for um, being, you know, getting your notifications that are normally on your phone, but popping up on your laptop, file transfer, calling, and messaging. So here are some of the laptops that have Intel Unison already. The uh, Lenovo Yoga 9i, the HP Spectre X360, again, th on a 360 degree hinge, hence the uh, two-in-one. Dell XPS, Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro, Acer Aspire uh, Vero, uh, LG Gram and Asus Zenbook S13, which is that one right there. So that is Intel Evo certified and sorry, Intel Unison as well. Uh, so you can wirelessly have it um, synchronized with your uh, mobile phone and uh, tablet. Great question about Macs. Uh, I get that a lot, um, you know, since uh, I get my hands on a lot of these devices, but I like the variety and versatility of uh, Intel powered laptops. I think we have yeah. a really interesting question here uh, from Martina. Hi, my mom is 86 years old okay. and wants to talk to her cousin in Europe. I heard that you can install WhatsApp on a laptop. Is that true or do I need to get a tablet? Yeah, so great question. Um, if you didn't hear it, it was uh, someone writing in who said their mom is in their 80s and they want to get her a laptop in order to uh, chat with family overseas over WhatsApp. WhatsApp, most people think of it as only a mobile application, a great free and secure uh, chatting platform, but it does in fact work with your laptop or desktop. Um, it is, um, all you have to do is, um, and I'll recommend uh, a couple of laptop options in a moment, but with WhatsApp, all you have to do is go to the app on your phone because you should have it first installed on your phone and you just go to, uh, in the options, it says add devices and it'll give you a, um, a uh, camera that will it'll launch your smartphone's camera and a QR code will appear on your computer and you can make sort of that digital handshake between the two. So it's tying your uh, WhatsApp desktop software, which you would download for free to your Windows laptop, uh, and it will uh, connect it to your phone number so that it's gonna work on both. So you can chat over WhatsApp, over PC, or over phone, or uh, it doesn't work well on tablet, in fact. It's more of a smartphone application as well as laptop or desktop. I use WhatsApp on my computer all the time, uh, whether it's for voice and video calls or for just exchanging files or group, group chats with friends. Great question. So if you're looking to buy a laptop for your uh, 80 plus year old mom, and kudos to her, by the way, hope she's doing well. There's a lot of options where, you know, if she's not, I'm not stereotyping here. She might not be a gamer. She might just want basic applications. You can get away with, um, you know, a uh, again that 699 uh, Intel Evo laptop from Lenovo or Dell. That should be great and half the price of some other Intel Evo laptop. So that would be maybe ideal for her. If she is a gamer, of course, the prices can go all the way up. Uh, so the, for anyone that you're thinking of buying a computer for, you want to assess their needs. Are there ta are they taking this to go? Yeah, then you want a thin and light laptop. You don't want to be weighed down with a laptop in your purse or in your backpack. Long battery life. That might not be the sexiest of features, but as someone who flies all the time, I can tell you how important long battery uh, life is. I, I, you know, you see it at every airport, they're the wall huggers where their laptop is waning, their battery is waning and they have to sit there and they're not happy about it, plugged into the wall uh, in order to charge up their laptop. So definitely something thin and light and long battery life for, for those on the go. If you're a gamer, you're gonna want more power and performance. You don't wanna have buyer's remorse where you bought something that was underpowered, it can't run the latest games. So just do your homework. There's tons of selection out there. And again, you've got a two year warranty if you buy from Costco, which is a good thing. Mason is asking, what's the deal with AI? What should I use it for? Okay, so there's been a lot of buzz over the last year, in fact, about artificial intelligence. It's been around a lot longer than that, but ChatGPT came out in late November of 2022. 
and it really took the world by storm, as you likely know. This is what we call generative AI or large language models. Uh, this is essentially having an assistant that you can interact with in a conversational-like way in order to get information uh, about whatever you're interested in. Or content creation. You wanted to write a speech for your brother-in-law's wedding, then you can ask it to do it. Or you're having a dinner party and you don't know what to make. Uh, you can just give it all the data. Like, you know, three people are coming who are vegetarian. One is vegan out of those three. Uh, the rest are carnivores. What do I do? Uh, or here's what I have in my fridge. What can I make with it? Or, hey, I'm going to Portugal next summer. Where should I go? And they'll create an itinerary for you. So it's really, you know, just limited by your imagination. Um, so why am I talking about this in a chat about computers is that increasingly you're going to start seeing computers fold in generative AI right onto the chip itself. So I went to the uh, Intel event this summer that uh, unveiled their um, latest gen processors, 14th gen coming, uh, December 14th, uh, codenamed Meteor Lake. And there's, uh, there, they've, we, they've talked for years, of course, about having a CPU on a chip, which is your central processing unit, the brains, the processor, a GPU for graphics, and the third is now NPU, which is a neuroprocessing unit. So this is taking a lot of that technology that's usually limited to the cloud, where you need to be online, uh, and it can be a bit slow, and again, you're at you know, 30,000 feet on an airplane, you're not paying for Wi-Fi, you have no access to that, and putting it on chip which is arguably more secure because you're not uh, accessing it in the cloud. And it's on device, so it'll be faster. Uh, and imagine, you know, you're writing, you know, next year you're, you're writing an, an essay if you're a student or you're writing a, a uh, sales report um, as an employee and you're leveraging this on-chip AI, this uh, NPU that'll be on the 14th gen Intel uh, processor. So really cool stuff with AI. So you're gonna start seeing it integrated everywhere, not just as a website, uh, but it'll also be voice activated as well, not just text-based, but great question. Ara, or Era, sorry, is asking, how do I protect my little kids on a PC? Great question. So um, there's a few things. I've written about this a lot over the years. Yes, you can install software that can filter out inappropriate websites or uh, apps that you don't want your kids access to. That's all fine. You know, like the, like the net nannies and the, the McAfee's, the uh, family safety and all that. That's great. It's a good tool. Uh, and here's the irony is that the kids often know more about tech than moms and dads, yet we're tasked with, uh, you know, taking care of them and protecting them. So software is one thing. Good, um, you know, just uh, open conversations about what they can expect when they're, um, you know, when they're online, like as awkward as that can be, when you're, if you sat down with your tweens and, and explained about things like cyberbullying or sexting or, you know, um, you know, predatory sort of comments online, I mean, it's awkward, but you have to, I think, uh, not just as a tech uh, reviewer, but as a parent, have an open dialogue with your kids. And if they're not comfortable enough to talk to you about it, maybe um, have like their teacher or a principal or, or guidance counselor or somebody talk to them about it. Uh, if they're really little kids, what I would recommend is to put the computer in a highly trafficked area of the home. You know, make browsing uh, or, you know, surfing, what have you, a, a family affair. Don't let it, you know, don't, I would not recommend having a young kid, having a computer behind a closed door in their bedroom uh, without any supervision, you know, but having a, a computer in a, kind of busy area of the home, like a little nook in the kitchen or in a family room or what have you, um, you know, just so you can keep sort of an eye on where they're going online and, and sit down with them and make it something you do together, not just something they do on their own. Um, that's a tip for younger kids. But yeah, so it's a combination of open dialogue because the best software out there isn't going to always save you. Uh, so some common sense tips explaining to them the dangers of, you know, of the internet and that everybody they meet online may not be legit. They may not be who they say they are. Uh, so that's really important to make sure that they understand that. Um, you know, just, just tips like that I think is, is great. But great question. Really great question. Sylvia is asking, what is a good computer for vlogging? Okay, so... Um, if you're a content creator, whether you're shooting yourself or you're, you, you like to f photograph or you shoot videos and edit them, you're a YouTuber, what have you, um, 
I would recommend having a good graphics processor uh, along with a good regular processor. So I would say Core i7 or maybe Core i9 and then good graphics performance because you're going to be editing video for your vlogs, your video blogs uh, and posting them and that might be on the go. You may not be at home. So uh, a laptop. Um, I, would, I would recommend a big screen so you can uh, easily edit what you're doing. Um, you know, I've seen vloggers on tiny little, you know, 11 inch laptops. I would recommend something much bigger if you can, just so you're not uh, straining. You can get a nice big view of your, um, you know, of your palette and your canvas because often it'll be side by side. Um, when you are at home though, yeah, definitely dock it into a bigger monitor, if not two monitors. And that way um, you can hone in on your craft a lot more and whatever software you use. But definitely for, for vlogging, you definitely want uh, something that's portable, powerful, uh, and something with a large screen. Touch is optional. It's up to you if you want to pinch and zoom in on that video that you're editing and do some work or photos and all that. It, it boils down to personal preference. Um, but definitely, um, you know, there's a lot of options out there. Coco is asking, when or how often should I upgrade my computer? That's a great question. So um, I like to say this when it comes to buying a computer. It's kind of like, I try to say, buying a computer is a lot like buying clothes for kids. Try to buy something a little bit bigger, or in other words, more powerful than you need today so that you can grow into it. You know, you buy clothes for kids, you want to make the size a, a, bit, a size or two bigger than you need today, so you're not replacing that clo those clothes uh, so fast. Same with buying a PC. Um, you know, if you think, okay, I've done my homework and I only need it for word processing and, you know, maybe a little bit of photo editing, I, I'm going to go with this. If you can, budget permitting or even wait a little bit uh, or wait for sales like Black Friday and Cyber Monday, go a little bit more with what you need today so you're not replacing that laptop so fast. You know, you don't want to regret a, a year from now. You should not be having to buy a, a computer again in a year or so. You um, definitely, if you buy the right computer for your needs and budget, you can stretch it. Like I was telling you, that Asus ZenBook Flip S that I've had for years, it still does the trick for me. It's great. Um, so that's not really answering your question. Your question was how often should you upgrade? There's no right or wrong answer or thing to do, but you don't want to waste your money. So I would say... If it can handle the things that you use your computer for, then keep, you know, use it as long as it lasts. You know, if it can last for a long time, many years, then great. Keep, you know, uh, take care of it, obviously. Um, you know, you can, um, you know, there's software that will clean it all up and make it run a little bit smoother. It's uh, optional and often free uh, from a trusted source where you can, uh, you know, clean up the computer and get rid of like, you know, duplicate files and things like that. But otherwise, every few years, you know, there's no reason, I think, to buy a computer every year, just like a smartphone. You know, uh, whenever the new iPhones come out, I'm always asked by everybody, oh, should I buy it? And I'm like, well, what do you have now? And if they say, oh, well, I have last year's model, no, you're not gonna, you're not, you're, there's no reason to upgrade your, uh, your phone that often. And same with your PC. If you buy your PC, um, you know, after doing some research, not just from critics like uh, yours truly, but also read what consumers are writing. You know, they're often very vocal on, on a, you know, a website where they uh, purchased it. Read the comments. Make sure you buy from a place that uh, you, it has a good warranty, uh, like Costco, and um, you're safeguarding your investment. You're future-proofing your investment by going a little bit more today than what you need. So before I read the next question, uh, before I forget, I want to thank the crew that's here. I know we still have uh, some more time, about uh, six, seven more minutes. Uh, I want to thank Savag and Serge and Mike who are here with me in my home office doing all the heavy lifting behind the scenes. Uh, Savag uh, Sakarian from Impact Films and, and Serge and Mike, great job working with you. And I also want to thank, before I forget, uh, Alan Johnson from Intel, who's been an incredible partner, and uh, the two Jeffreys, as we affectionately call them, uh, working alongside with Alan to make this happen. If you missed this, uh, by the way, this live Facebook, Facebook live chat, you can watch it again on demand. I'll post on my socials where to do so, but it's going to live for a while uh, because hopefully you find that this is useful uh, information. Um, even if you are pretty tech savvy, maybe you know I said something that you didn't really know much about, like Intel Unison um, or Meteor Lake, which is the, the successor to the 13th gen Intel Core processors which are coming, uh, or AI questions that you have. So you'll be able to find and 
follow this later and feel free to hit me up with uh, questions that you've got. All right, Lily is asking, my daughter is learning to do graphics and animation for games. Good for, uh, good for your daughter, Lily. Um, what model is the most flexible or uh, expandable for drawing uh, and 3D? Okay, for it's really. 2D and 3D. <laughs> Thank you for 2D yeah. and 3D. Yeah. Okay, so um, again, because you're going to be, you're working in visual arts, so I definitely would recommend a larger screen rather than a smaller one. You kind of get used to what you have, but you could find thin and light 17 inch laptops now, right? Uh, and with very little uh, bezel or, bo or border, right? Like they're getting really thin now, or just a little black around the edge, or sometimes not at all on some of the laptops. Um, so just figure out if you want to use um, a pen. A lot of graphic designers and gamers and, and animators like a digital pen on the screen. So if that's important to you, you'll need a touch screen and probably I would recommend a two-in-one or a detachable where you can remove the keyboard when you no longer need it and use that pen on the screen. So that's, I think, important uh, if you're in animation and gaming. Uh, and then, yeah, a powerful processor, a Core i7, uh, if not a Core i9 is uh, definitely important. And uh, lots of RAM or system memory, so at least uh, 16 gigs of RAM. Um, as for storage, I'd recommend solid state storage or SSD opposed to a hard drive because it's faster to uh, read and write onto an SSD than an HDD, which is the old sort of hard drive with a spinning platter and all that. SSDs are not just faster, but they're smaller, lighter, uh, and more durable. So when you're out and about, you, there's, they're less prone to damage uh, because there's no moving parts, unlike a hard drive. So those are some of my thoughts for those who are looking to buy a laptop. If uh, you're buying for a, a gamer in your household, an animator, uh, someone who's going to be using this on the go as well, a large screen, fast processor, great graphics processor, like I would say an NVIDIA, you know, GTX uh, would be great. Um, and uh, yeah, touch if you want a digital pen, which is often included, by the way. One of the laptops that is going to be given away in the sweepstakes has that stylus included. It's that HP NV X360. It's a 15.6 inch Intel Evo platform based two in one. Uh, so the screen bends back and it does include a stylus. It's a Core i7 processor uh, and it uh, has 32 gigs of memory or RAM and a one terabyte SSD, just going back to that storage. We haven't talked a lot about storage, but it's still very important, even with the, the cloud. Um, four RTX is the highest number, the better. Yeah, oh, four, okay, great question. All right, the question is about graphics. And again, this is important, if, especially if you're into gaming, is the higher the number, the better. So just like a core processor, a Core i9 is better than Core i7, when it comes to an NVIDIA graphics card, the, the 4000 series is better than the 3000 series, right? So you can get like a, an RTX 3070 or 3080 uh, on sale over Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but even better is if you can get a 4050, 4060, 70 or 80 RTX graphics, that'll be much better, uh, but it will cost more. So you've got to weigh your budget with your needs and uh, see if you can afford better graphics. It really boils down to your personal preference. Again, my mom, if she's watching, honey, she's not a gamer, but she spends a lot of time online and she does uh, you know, bookkeeping stuff and all that. So her needs are gonna be different than someone who's you know, playing Call of Duty online with their buddies with the headset uh, you know, where you need like really demanding graphics. But that's a great question. I talked about, um, Simple tips to protecting kids online. I think we've got another, I, you know, I think we have time for one or two more. I know we're wrapping up, but I'd love to squeeze in as many as possible. Yeah, so I'm asked to uh, give the uh, sweepstakes link again. It should be, it's, it's a pretty long link, but you can tap or click it in the description area of this uh, Facebook Live chat. So definitely go in there and uh, enter the sweepstakes. Again, the caveat is that you have to be in the US 18 years of age and older, and you get a free entry, and then you've got different things you can do to earn up to 10 entries for the three different laptops. You can follow HP on Twitter, uh, or X now, follow Dell, Lenovo, or Intel, 
You can visit the Lenovo um, webpage at Costco.com to win an entry, the Intel Evo brand store at Costco.com, and then that way you can earn as many as 10 votes. And tell your friends, uh, unless you're very competitive and you don't want to share the uh, sweepstakes info. All right, next up, Anne Marie is asking if I have a, oh, she has a budget of $1,000 for a new laptop. What's a good recommendation? That's a, that's a healthy budget, you know, for, for having a laptop. I, I don't know what your needs are, Anne Marie, but there's a couple of suggestions. Um, for under 1,000, I'd recommend uh, one of these three. The LG Gram 17-inch Evo, and as the name suggests, the LG Gram is incredibly light. Uh, and you get a big screen, 17 inches. That's on sale for $9.99, so it fits your budget. Uh, normally $13.99. Um, then there is, and that's oh, both at Costco warehouses and at Costco.com, I should mention. There's also the uh, MSI Modern 15-inch uh, laptop that is normally $9.99, but on sale for $7.99, so $200 off that MSI. That's a brand that not everybody may be familiar with, but they've uh, made a lot of inroads in the gaming space for sure. And then if you want a desktop, Anne-Marie, I think you wanted a laptop, but there is a sale on the Dell XPS desktop, which is $8.99 over Black Friday and Cyber Monday instead of $12.99. All right, we have time for one more. Thanks, Savag. Uh, Abdullah is asking, what is the best value Intel Evo laptop? So as I mentioned earlier, the best price I've seen at, uh, at Costco for sure is $699 on two different Intel Evo powered laptops. Uh, one is the Lenovo Flex 7i. It's a two-in-one. Again, you can often look at the name of the product to see what it does, Flex. So it bends back, it's a two-in-one that has a 12th gen Intel uh, core processor, but a great price on an Intel Evo certified laptop. And then the other one that I found, which is not touch, and it's, so, and it's not a two-in-one, is the Dell Inspiron 14 inch, and that's both at Costco.com and Costco warehouses. So the, that's the best price that I've seen on an Intel Evo laptop, uh, as low as $699, and hey, uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, leading up to and over the holidays, you may be able to find even uh, more aggressive pricing on these uh, laptops. All right, I'm told to wrap it up. Yep, we are at the 46 minute mark. I wanna thank everybody for tuning in, whether you're watching live uh, or if uh, you're gonna be watching this on demand. Head over to intel.com to learn more. Intel Evo, engineered to do it all. Uh, head over to Costco.com to check out their sales or pop into your local Costco warehouses. I heard the uh, hot dog is worth the $1.50. <laughs> I haven't had it yet myself, but I've heard they're awesome. Uh, but uh, that was really cheesy. Uh, hey, uh, happy and healthy holidays to everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Good luck if you're entering the sweepstakes and uh, keep in touch on social media. I'm uh, on X and I'm on Insta and threads, even TikTok, not doing any dances, but uh, trying to just to give some tech advice, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, and of course, uh, Facebook, if that's where you are right now. Thanks again so much for uh, tuning in, everybody. All the best. Happy, healthy holidays to you. Be well.